Okay, looking at this throw real quick, the last one you sent, um, definite improvement in a lot of areas. There's one thing I want to look at that's not so much, um, I can see that you're, there's an ability to get distance out of the throw, obviously, and there's power. Uh, what I'm worried about is repeatability, and having been somebody that's worked in the full spin a lot, but continues to not have it show up on competition day, this is the thing that I think is going to help uh, with that. So it actually shows up, because I think, or again, there's a repeatability problem, there's a consistency thing, and it's again getting on the left out of the back. Um, if you watch your hip, watch the little hey brand Goods logo there, from here to here, there's no transit at all. That left hip just nicely, you know, you kind of plant the left toe, the hip just kind of swivels around and you come around um, and your, you know, your, your line of balance is like this and you're falling in. Now, you do a good job of turning the right leg and getting the right turning but it's not fluid because you're really fighting a, a vector of force there that's pushing you this way and as you balance in then you know you're able to recover because i think you've done a ton of power position work good power position good extension good strike everything that's all good but for repeatability under conditions like different track um you know different emotions different adrenal adrenal state or whatever you got to get this hip out here you have to just really work on the beginning of this throw and getting it like to drive this way um like i would say set like you know, if i'm circling the hip again like try to get your hip to transit out to the edge of this circle that i've drawn there like really try to push your balls outside the the throwing area because right now you're just kind of turning on that left like if you push out, you're countering against the natural tendency of the body to fall in as you turn. You're going to fight against that, and instead, you're going to turn and be able to look and drive down that sector line, basically. And when you drive down that side, you turn this right, and that's what gets you back to the middle, and you'll come right down. So again, it's good. You recover pretty well, but I just think, and it's a good-looking throw. I don't want to seem like I'm shitting on it. I just think in terms of being able to do it all the time and get more consistent. I think getting out over that left more, really exaggerating that push to the left is going to be what does it.